Alright everyone, welcome back to another GTA 5 online video and in this video I'm going to be reviewing one of the drip feed vehicles of the newest GTA 5 online DLC which is the bottom dollar DLC so this vehicle right here is the Overflot Pipistrello is that how you say the, the GTA name? I think so, I'm not sure but if you, don't, if you guys don't know what this car is based on well I actually did not know whatsoever I, I, had, I had no idea what this car is based on at all like look at this thing um, but to do a bit of research and this thing is apparently based on the Extrema Fulmania I, I have no idea what, it, what that is but it looks it looks interesting that's for sure so yeah let's hop inside the car it is electric by the way so yep there you go no sound it is electric unfortunately it does have active aero there we go pretty nice and also flaps and you brake and the tail light it's actually very cool. I do like I do like the tail lights of this car. The way it like sticks out of the bodywork of the car. It looks very cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and customize it. Oh yeah, one last thing. Forgot to show you guys this. You guys can buy this vehicle in Legendary Motorsport. So here it is. Overflow PPS Trello 2.950 million. So just under 3 million, which is very expensive. A lot of money. Like, holy crap. So yeah, this vehicle is now available. To purchase for everyone so yeah pretty cool now let's go ahead and customize it all right here we are it is super class category by the way all right categories 22 armor max it out yeah max it out body trim we got primary secondary and forge carbon um is it carbon stock i think it is oh all right that's actually pretty nice is that carbon it looks like it. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know, but should I just go for Forge Carbon? Because I don't really... Oh yeah, it is carbon stock. Okay, that's pretty nice. I mean, you're paying $3 million for a car. So, they better be giving carbon fiber parts stock. Um, should I go for Forge Carbon Trim? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this vehicle. Because I am most likely going to be selling this after I'm done with the review. I don't know, who knows. Because uh, I don't really see myself using this vehicle at all. Anyways, moving on to grills. 13 options. We got split, primary split grill, and then we have a secondary split grill, forged carbon split grill, double split grill, uh, primary secondary forged carbon, uh, cross grill, and primary secondary forged carbon. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the grills of the vehicle. Um. To be honest, I don't really know what to go for, although I do like. Painted is pretty cool. I don't really mind painted. You know what? Let's go for Forge Carbon. Because I never really go for Forge Carbon options in... Well, for my cars in this game. So you know what? A bit of Forge Carbon wouldn't hurt. I mean, I'm going to sell this car either way, I think. So yeah, moving on to hoods. So you got 17 options. You got a double vent. And I have a secondary double vent, which completely changes the whole front end of the car like the color of it uh yeah yeah this is definitely the hood game yeah definitely <laughs> it's definitely not changing the front fenders of the car <laughs> i mean hey it's pretty cool though you can kind of do like a two-tone um paint job on this car like the front can be white and the back can be like blue color or something so i guess that's pretty cool so we got stock hood uh, double vent, secondary double vent. We got a carbon double vent. Oh, carbon. And forged carbon. So we can make the whole front end in carbon fiber. Actually, that's pretty cool. Ex the first ever fully exposed carbon fiber body car in GTA. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. We got triple vent. Alright, so from double to triple. And then pretty much same thing. Uh, secondary carbon, forged carbon. And there's race vents. Oh, race vents does look pretty cool. Because it's painted in black is that black is that car that's carbon so yeah, it does look quite interesting not gonna lie um moving on keeps going down then we have competition vents secondary comp wait, competition vents so competition vents it looks like it's a mixture of triple vent and the race vent okay pretty cool and yeah that's pretty much it for the hoods of the car what am i gonna go for absolutely none of them uh moving on to lights so here's what the lights look like. I really like the tail lights of this car. The way it sticks out is very cool. Um, anyways, oh yeah, can we talk about the stock rims on this car? Some pretty nice stock rims. Anyways, moving on. A livery. So we got white stripe. We got a black stripe. 
right interesting stripe it's a narrow at the front you got overflow white stripe can't really see because of the color and you have overflow overflow black stripe ah i see okay it's pretty cool and then we have a geometry street camo left full street camo race street camo Ooh, interesting and then we have itasha 96 okay um what am i gonna go for Overflow black stripe is pretty nice i don't really mind it to be honest so we'll go for that it's been a while since i've gone gone for a a livery you know let's go for a nice subtle one mirrors wait i just realized this car does not have side mirrors stock huh that's strange although i do see like a small little panel there maybe the side mirrors stick out i'm not sure anyway so we got primary mirrors look at those side mirrors though that actually does look pretty cool some pretty cool looking side mirrors uh, and then we have secondary carbon and forged carbon let's go for forged carbon side mirrors um let's just play yep that's not gonna change uh grease spray color we'll come back to that in a second so roof we got 13 options we have a roof scoop with you on an electric car right and then we have um an extended roof scoop which we can wait what oh, okay so it extends the roof scoop a bit more to the front all right cool and then we have a full roof scoop which extends all the way to the back seems like it yep pretty cool and then we have oh, never mind that's pretty much it um it would be nice to have like a full forged carbon roof without having to go for the roof scoop also uh, don't mind the camera constantly like spinning this way because my controller has horrible stick drift so yeah it's a shame that i can't go for a full carbon roof without going for the roof scoop option man ain't no way all right moving on side skirts not a lot of options they got skirts carbon skirts extended carbon skirts and wind carbon skirts so you're gonna give me carbon but no um forge carbon ah you know what at this point I don't really care. Let's go for full carbon, full roof scoop. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna ruin this car. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, splitter. 21 options. We got a non cutout. A non cutout splitter mark 1, mark 2, mark 3, mark 4. And we have extended splitter. Extended splitter mark 1, mark 2, mark 3, mark 4. Mark plier. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Alright, extended splitter with cutout. Uh, extended splitter with cutout mark 1, 2, 3, and 4. Extreme splitter. Extreme splitter mark 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh my god, this looks insane. This is some Pike Speak time attack build right here. Holy crap. Um, I think... Should I just go for this, dude? Uh, you know what? Let's try... It. We'll, 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 we'll make the car look decent at least we'll make the car look nice i'm just gonna keep i'm probably gonna keep the car for like a day and then tomorrow i'm just gonna sell it you know enjoy the car just a bit um for splitters i actually don't know what to go for i think i think uh yeah stock with this fine much as the body lines of the car and the shape man this stick drift is killing me by the way all right spoilers 23 of spoilers holy crap he's so got a low ducktail uh and then oh my god this controller there we go all right and then we have a medium ducktail spoiler large stock fins large primary fins secondary primary fins large forged carbon f large forged carbon rims uh, rims fins race wing flat wing float Ooh. Floating wing. Oh wow. Some conic like Yesco looking wing right there. And then we have a primary floating wing. Secondary floating wing. And then a full uh forge carbon floating wing. Competition wing. Split wing. Oh my god, split wing. Did they did they just rip this off the goddamn Yesco in the game? <laughs> Wait. Hold up, no, that looks way too similar to the Yesco spoiler that we have in the game. Like right now. They just like rip it off the car and then just put it on this. <laughs> Anyways, you got an overflowed wing. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then we have a GT wing. All right, of course, big big old wing. And that's pretty much it for the spoilers. What am I gonna go for? 
I might go for the large fins, not gonna lie, the large fins is pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have large forged carbon fins. There you go. Sun strip, we got primary, secondary, and plastic. No carbon, why? Alright, suspension. This stick drift, dude, I. S okay, don't lose your mind. Alright, suspension, we got lowered, street, sport, and competition. Oh, you can slam this squad. Oh, you can lower this squad a lot, actually. There you go, turbo tuning. Wait, turbo tuning? On an electric car? Wait. Am I am I tripping? The electric cars always have turbo tuning in this game? No, I don't think so. Wait. Uh alright, interesting. Okay, for wheels, let's go to track. Cause I wanna go for a type of rim that's similar to the stock rims of this car. So let's go for I do have an idea in my in my mind. The retro turbo fan. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll go for that. Um, it's probably not the best looking rim, but it's whatever. We'll make it frost white. And then, yeah, we'll put tires on that. There we go. Free spray color for this vehicle. What am I gonna go for? I'm not entirely sure. I think a nice blue. I think blue should be fine, right? Although, I feel like this car looks perfect in white. Actually. Diamond blue is pretty nice. Yeah, we'll go for diamond blue. There we go. Diamond blue, pearlescent. I think pearlescent harbor blue is fine. We don't want the pearlescent to be too crazy, you know? We don't want it to be too shiny. But we still want to have a bit of blue in there. So I think pearlescent harbor blue is fine. There we go. Secondary color. That's not going to change anything because of my customization options. So I'm going to keep that classic black. Trim color. Yeah, here's the interior, by the way. Not the greatest looking interior. Not going to lie. Um, there is a race stream, which is pretty cool. Uh, but for this, I think I'm just going to make it a nice oh, interior color. I think frost white. There we go. Okay, so, um, reason I'm currently checking out this vehicle right now is because I want to see if this has if this thing does have turbo tuning and it doesn't because it's for electric so like why <laughs> why 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 does that weird electric hypercar have to have turbo tuning did, did, did Rockstar mess up I don't know but hey I guess the car's way faster now so I guess it's time for us to go ahead and take it for a nice quick test drive since this thing has been fully upgraded now so yeah let's go and okay acceleration does feel pretty quick also if you go for the large fins on the back the actual spoiler does, will not go up anymore unfortunately that's a shame Lem. Uh, anyways driving it around it feels it's pretty grippy for an electric car although just sliding here and there while I'm while I do say it, well I do say it's grippy but it is kind of sliding here and there but I guess the grip is all right for a electric vehicle it does have that you know heavy feel when you're like handling the car around corners it does feel pretty heavy just like every other well, pretty much every other electric car in the game to be honest but hey it's not bad pretty cool holy crap I almost hit the SUV this thing just understood like it was nothing bro alright let's slow down here the tail lights look really good at night the tail lights is actually very nice alright we are here LSIA it is time to test this thing out let's see let's go all right off the line good acceleration already going 100 and it's already oh it slowed down a lot 110 come on you can go faster okay so this is how fast you can go with like zero curb boosting it's like a hundred ten something 111 112 I don't know but it's not that fast in the top end actually them all right uh one last test it is an electric car so let's just do a quick reverse test just for fun to see how fast this thing can really reverse so let's just position the car properly real quick 
And go. Oh. Uh, oh my god, it just spun out on its own. It just spun out on its own. That was not me. Hold up. Let's try that again. Okay, reverse. 80 miles an hour. Yeah, it looks like it tops out. It tops out at like 85, 83, 84 miles an hour. Man, so that means the Hyundai Envision 74 can reverse faster than this thing. It's, it has a higher reversing top speed. Nice. Well, do I have anything else to say about this abomination? No. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. And peace.